Hello, my friends. Sailor Moai here. We got to uh, Ocean Isle uh, the other night. Pulled up, tied off. Look at that bird. Um, everything's good. We ordered pizza on the boat there. It was pretty awesome. Uh, that night, about three in the morning, the wind got up. It's howling through there hard and yanking us around and stuff. I had to get up in the middle of the night and retie us. Um, it calmed down by the morning, but it was rough that night. It wore us out. We got storms coming. What time is it? 7 o'clock? 7.30 We're headed that way We're at Ocean Isle Marina Pretty nice little place And uh, there's the ICW our first customer. <laughs> yeah, our dilemma is we are uh, we got storms coming, several days of them. We're supposed to be in Carolina Beach tonight, and uh, we're going to uh, either get stormed on or we're going to hit high tide at uh, Southport and Southport and Carolina Beach are 30 minutes apart on their tides so they uh, no matter what we do we're going to get some uh, tide against us somewhere in there so I'm going to try we're going to try to hit it with where we have the least amount of force against us. The wind is completely out of the wrong direction. We're headed dead into the wind all day except for uh, Southport, which will turn with the wind just to go up uh, Cape Fear River. But we'll have the tide fighting the wind, which you know, if you've ever done that before, it's extremely uncomfortable. And uh, the Cape Fear is just a river, but it's massive, and it's it's a lot to it. Uh, it can get really destructive out there. So you got to watch what you do. I know a lot of people look them up on YouTube that's gone out there in small boats. They shouldn't have been there. And uh, they did it anyway. And they were sorry they did it. So that's our dilemma right now. I'll catch y'all back on in a minute. Yeah, we went over the weather a couple of hundred times and the tide charts a couple of hundred times. I couldn't see any way out of it. We was either getting stormed on or we're going to hit the tide coming at us. Um, but anyways, we decided we was going to go for it. And uh, after a good amount of prayer, we took off and uh, started heading up the uh, ICW toward uh, Southport, where you hit the uh, big river up there. And uh, what makes it so difficult is the the size of the river. You got the ICW pouring into it, and you got the ocean is right there, and it's a shipping lane to Wilmington. So it's big, it's deep, and it's it catches a lot of wind across there. And if the wind's going the right direction, it's got a lot of time for fetch across that large body of water and it really messes with you. Uh, if it's going the wrong direction, it can get, it, you know, big is relative, but three or four feet is not that big. But when it's ever three seconds, 
you know, it's hard to beat your way through that kind of thing. And it gets very difficult. And there's a wife, she's pickled with my decisions. <laughs> Isle up to uh, Southport is about three and a half hours. Um, the tide was not due, slack tide wasn't due until about four o'clock in the afternoon. We were there about 1.30. So it was a lot of decisions to be made. We had some storms that were right behind us coming up the river there. And we didn't know if they were gonna hit while we were out in the Cape Fear where you turn out into the Cape Fear is real close to the ocean. It's real big water. Like I said, the fetch can be really bad across that because it's so open and so much water. It, uh, and it's short time and very sharp, choppy water. And uh, especially if you got the tide and the wind fighting each other, it can get really bad. But we decided we'd give it a shot. We could always turn around. Well, the time was upon us to make a decision. We were getting close to Southport, be our last stop before we crossed the Cape Fear River. And uh, we kept checking the uh, radar and all of that stuff. And there it was, there's our markers um, for um, shipping lanes. And uh, here we go. And believe it or not, the wind and the tide were both against us, but the water was nearly flat, which is crazy. I had no idea. After all the weather we'd had on the way, I just knew it was going to be terrible. But it was pretty calm. We had like a three knot uh, current against us, but it was it was not too bad. I couldn't get over three knots to get on down through there, but we made it pretty easy 
halfway across, the tide did change and, and it helped us along on the second half. All right, we made it across the river. Now we're going down a place called Snow's Cut and it's a little piece of the ICW that connects Carolina Beach with the Cape Fear River. It's just a small little uh, cut through there. Uh, it goes under the 421, Highway 421 bridge. And here we were trying to get in touch with the marina because it's right at the other end of the cut. So we were trying to raise them on the radio and the phone and nobody was answering. We didn't know what slip we had. We didn't know where we were bow in, stern in, which side to tie off on, uh, setting up the fenders. I like to know all of that before I get there and have the boat ready and set before I ever move into a marina area where you could hit something or a boat or dock or whatever and uh, mess yours up or mess somebody else's up and I'm determined I'm not going to do that. So we finally got them on the phone. They sent somebody out, told us what slip we were in and we set the boat up before we got there and I had to include this because I was so proud of myself for going in this slip that we had like a foot of distance between the width of our boat and the the slip with so and I slid it right in there didn't touch a thing and I'm so proud of it and I don't get many chances to be proud of my docking so <laughs> I included it I hope y'all enjoy it as much as I did It doesn't matter if, if it'll fit in here. If it'll fit, we're in here.
job, Captain. Nice job. <laughs> Well, guys, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I appreciate my subscribers so much. Uh, please subscribe if you hadn't. It would help our channel out so much. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much better the channel will be, and, and the more stuff we, we can do, and the more camera stuff that we can have, and, and just make everything a lot better. So hang in there with us. We're going to get this thing down pat one of these days. Uh, we're learning something new every time we go out on the boat. And uh, I do appreciate everybody that watches and subscribes. Give us those thumbs up. Comment. Uh, give us some ideas what you'd like to see and, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I appreciate every one of you. And you guys have a great, great week. Be blessed. And I hope nothing but the best for you. And uh, remember, do something you love.